The materials needed for this project include 19 red brick, two one inch red brick, a paving stone, and a metal grate. We will need to cut one of our bricks in half and we can do that with common hand tools such as a hammer and a chisel. We can break the brick in half by chiseling along the middle of the brick creating a weak spot. Eventually it'll break. Let's get to building the stove. Place the paving stone on a flat level surface. The first layer of bricks will consist of three bricks and one half brick arranged in a C formation. As with all brick layers, ensure that the bricks are squared and tightly pressed together to minimize gaps to make it relatively airtight. The grate is placed on top of the first layer of bricks flush to the front of the C formation. The second layer of bricks will mimic the first with the exception that the half brick alternates to the other side of the C formation. The third, fourth, and fifth layers will each use four bricks in an O formation. Support the brick that covers the gap in the C formation on the third layer until you can add a brick that will keep it from falling. Alternate the brick placement on each layer for increased stability and snug everything together. The one inch bricks are used as a stand for a cooking pot with one on each side of the opening. Air will enter the stove to be preheated before passing through the grate where the wood fuel is burning. Flame and heat escape up the column drawing more air into the stove. The stove is fuel efficient because reflected heat and use of preheated air work to burn fuel completely. Used fuel turns to ash and falls through the grate exposing unused layers of fuel. Now where was it that I left my cooking pot? Oh yeah. Voila, dinner is served. There you have it, a simple survival hack that'll keep you warm and cook your food while being fuel efficient. If you enjoyed my video and are not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you as a viewer. I'll be making more videos in the future, but in the meantime, you can check out one of these other videos recommended.